I'm actually kind of scared. I don't know how well this is going to go. That's the one. That's the one right there. No, I deleted the hole. It needs to work first time, basically. How far am I going to get? That is, that is my hour. Oh, oh, oh. Howdy, welcome back to the Caning One channel where all the good things happen. Today we are talking about horror. And after this little yap sesh, we're going to be doing a challenge, a little game dev challenge, where I try to remake and improve Slender Man the Eight Pages with modern graphics, I suppose. In one hour. I know I can do it, maybe. I think I know I might be able to do that. Anyway, back to the point, horror. So I've recently been making my own horror game. If you subscribed, you'll know that. So because I've been making my own horror game, I've been thinking about other horror games, successful horror games, what they did well, what, what could be improved upon. And the one that keeps coming to mind is Slender Man The Eight Pages. Now it's a bit of a weird example because you look at it and you're like, mm, kinda looks like shit dude, <laughs> kinda looks bad. But back in the day it was iconic, it was a big deal, I mean there were movies, there were more games, there were stories, there was merch, there was fanfics, there was so, so much fan fiction going on, just so many, just pictures on top of pictures of Slender Man and Jeff the Killer just in all kinds of romantic predicaments. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Despite all its success and glory, it was, it was ugly. I mean, it looked like Play-Doh. I mean, the graphics were bad, but it was, it was made by one guy in like a day or two for a competition. But that's the thing with horror. It's not about the graphics, really. It's, it's about the psychology. And that game, it, it does psychology really well in a super simple way. Your mission is to grab eight pages, but every time you do it, these, these intense drums start playing and like, the, the AI gets more aggressive and you feel like a naughty boy basically. <laughs> you feel like you're doing something wrong. It's like, but you have to go and do that to win the game. So there's this like tension between your goal and the fact you get punished by it constantly. And there's, I think that's the feeling that generates the fear. And of course, there's this weird like NR and ARG thing. ARG. ARG. Whereas like, <laughs> People were like showing, showing these pictures like Slender Man's real, he's gonna kidnap you in the forest. You need to, if you play the game and lose, you get to <coughs> die. Basically, on the playground, we thought it was real. And I, I think the bad graphics actually lended towards the sort of uncanny nature of, of the game and, and, the, and the mystique behind the whole thing. But yeah, because I've been spending so much time like trying to make my game good and all of this, I keep looking back at this simple game and thinking, I could make that in an hour. It'd be so simple, it'd be so easy. So I figured I may as well challenge myself and find out, um, can I make Slender Man the eight pages in an hour? So just sit tight, hold your horses, and let me cook, Jesse. So I've made a little plan here of all the different features I think I need. Well, I say I think, I know. I've, I've, I've read the Slender Wiki and like played the game. So we're gonna try and add all of this. <laughs> And I've also gone and set up the project file. So all that's left is to start. Ah, we've got an hour. I'm actually kind of scared. I don't know how well this is going to go. So let me stop yapping and just get going. All right, so first things first. Game has a forest. You need a terrain. There we go. Whoa. Boom. So that's the size of the player compared to the map. Whoa. These sound effects are horrible. I've actually got a license to a sound bank called Epidemic Sound, like so. See how much better that sounds. Okay, so we should start working on like the actual forest, I think. Bought a art pack, a nature art pack in the Humble Bundle, and it's really good. That's some nice looking grass. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna copy the Slenderman map. Okay, looks like trash, but it's fine. It doesn't need to look good from top down. It needs to look good from the player's perspective. Right, I'm gonna add some grass real quick. Maybe a bit more grass than that. That's the one. That's the one right there. That's the one. I'm telling you. Grass. I'm just. No, I deleted the whole. Oh no. Computer's not happy. The forest is probably going to be the most important thing visually. So I want to spend a fair bit of time on this. And a nice ass tree. Look at that tree. Oh yeah. Oh shit. We need to work on some of the actual gameplay though. Right, how long have we got left? 40 minutes, shit, let's go. I need to, first things first, let's make it dark and let's add a flashlight. So flashlights are super easy to make, especially if we're making a Slenderman style one. So we make a spotlight and make it a bit more intense. I think that's pretty good. We're gonna try and program this like super speed. It needs to work first time basically. Okay, that's our flashlight. How much time? 32 minutes. I've got a flashlight sound. There we go. All right, come on, let's test this out. If it works first time, 
Hurry up, man. Oh my god. All right, cool. Flashlight, done. Battery life, done. What now? Let's do zoom camera. Then let's do score. Do collect pages. Okay, so for the zoom camera, it's not too hard. We just need to change the FOV. Okay, let's see if that works first time. Hopefully. If I do this, I'm actually... You need to like and subscribe right now. So if the field of view is less than equal to more than equal to it's more than minus one. For some reason I have less than is always confusing. It's more than, than Okay, so it goes up until 35. Hey, there we go. So now we want a score, which is easy to do. Wow, it's really starting to feel like Slender Man. Right? Yeah, okay, so we'll do the interaction, so. Okay, let's place down a page and see what happens. No, the game's bugging. I can't. 17 minutes. Two, three. How do I move stuff? Page is just gonna be, for now, it's just gonna be like, kind of plain. Right, let's put this bad boy on this tree real quick. See if this works. It works. How long we got left? 13 minutes. In 13 minutes, we need to add so much. How far am I gonna get? Let's add stamina real quick. Okay, I think I can do it here. I don't know how that works, I've never done that stuff, so I'm just gonna have to overwrite it here. This is actually confusing me, this code is so odd. Uh, my brain. Okay, I think that works. I don't know, test it real quick. That was horrific to write, my brain is throbbing. But I can't sprint anymore. Hey, reset, perfect, it works. Okay, it kind of works, I think. Five minutes to add Slender Man and a forest. Okay, cool. Come on, Kane, you can do this. If I can write any sort of uh, Slender Man AI in like three minutes, then I'm a god. And let's press play and let's just see what it looks like right now. How long have we got? We've got one minute, no! All right, we've got a couple seconds left. Let's just add some sound. Time's up. Time is up, guys. That is, that is my hour up. So what have we got so far? After all my talk, how much of Slenderman could I actually make in an hour? I managed to add all of this. <laughs> so we've got flashlight, zoom camera, score, click pages, stamina, audio, forest. No Slenderman though. There's no Slenderman in Slenderman, apparently. Oh, I saw a page over there. Where, where, where's, where's the page again? Ah, found a page. Oh my god, I could jump about fucking 10 feet. It's not exactly Slenderman, is it? 